What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about something very special, my all-time favorite supplement. This is a Phanazam Floss Aqua, or AFA Blue Green Algae. Now this stuff is really cool. Um, this is the brand that I get, it's E3 uh, Live. Um, I'll link down to that below and this one I got off Amazon. It's the most reasonably priced now They have Several different kinds of AFA blue-green algae that you can get and I am not sponsored by them I just like this brand. Um, there's a lot of other really good brands on um, Amazon as well, but essentially what AFA is is it's a micro blue-green algae and it grows in Klamath Lake out in Oregon. It's a pristine lake. There's no, um, there are no people around it. It's completely wild and this algae grows in that lake. So they harvest this algae from that lake and there are a couple different kinds that you can get. You can get a live one which comes frozen that you defrost and then you put a little bit in a drink. But I like to get the powdered form, um, which comes with essentially the same benefits. It's just easier to work with. But we're gonna take this, and we're gonna take this a step further because we're gonna make blue-green algae water. Now, AFA has a lot of really good benefits. It's got 65, you know, minerals, uh, vitamins, amino acids, essential fatty acids. It's got your omega-3s, omega-6s. Um, it's got some B12 in it, which is good for vegans. Um, it's got uh, pretty much a full spectrum of everything that you need, even protein, fat. It's considered a full food source. Now, the other cool thing about AFA is that it's a blue food and it has a blue pigment in it called phycocyanin, which I'm gonna show you how to extract from it. It's also one of the very few blue foods in the world. I mean, I, it's funny because I don't really think about the color of foods that much, but when I do, I realized that blue foods are the rarest foods on the planet. I mean, if I think off the top of my head, I can only think about blueberries, blue pea flower, AFA, to be honest with you, I can't really think of anything else. I mean, if you do comment down below, let me know what other blue foods there are. I mean, there's purple foods, which, you know, purple potato, those kinds of things. Uh, purple cabbage, those are not the same as blue foods. Um, so that's what makes AFA very special because that very rare phycocyanin, which I'm gonna show you how to extract in a second. It's really easy, don't click away, I promise. Uh, you'll need a few things to do it. The other really interesting thing about um, AFA is it contains PEA or phenylethylalanine, which is also very hard to find in food. Um, and one of the highest containing foods of phenylethylalanine in the world, which a lot of you eat, is chocolate. And when you eat chocolate, you get that euphoric, feel good, you know, mood. That's the phenylethylalamine. Now, AFA also includes that. So, um, you know, it kind of also gets you in the mood. So, you know, next Valentine's Day, maybe instead of asking for chocolate, you should ask for AFA blue green algae. Just a thought. Um, okay, guys. So, let me show you how we're going to turn this blue powder, which I'll show you in a second, into, actually it's more like a bluish green powder, um, into this amazing, vibrant, like blue water, which is very Instagrammable, very photogenic. So if that's something that you're into, stick around because we're gonna get started right now. All right guys, so we only need a few things to make this blue green algae water. We're gonna need a glass container, our star of the show, the AFA powder, as well as something called fulvic acid. Now this is what's going to help pull out that phycocyanin and mineralize the product even more and help our bodies easily absorb the nutrients that are found in AFA. So we're gonna need that as well as some 
distilled water. Guys, make sure it's clean water because you don't wanna ruin um, the mineral content, the nutrient content of AFA um, with chlorinated uh, tap water or even, um, you know, fridge filtered water. You wanna use something really pure when you're making this. So here's what I do. I start off by filling my container. I'm gonna angle this over so you guys can see it better. I fill it up halfway with distilled water. Just like that, okay? So you wanna get yourself a big glass because this takes two days to make, so we're, you know, you don't wanna to have to keep making so much of it, so that way, um, I, I mean, you don't have to wanna keep making it all the time, so that way you get a decent amount to uh, make one time. So we're gonna grab a teaspoon, okay, and we're gonna take a teaspoon of this powder. Now I want you guys to see the powder. Do you see that? It's like a blue green, almost like a, it's almost like spirulina powder with like some sort of diamond dust all over it. It shimmers. And by the way guys, that's something I forgot to mention that AFA blue green algae is actually part of the same family as spirulina and chlorella. But in my opinion, you get way more benefits from AFA because it's a completely wild, natural food source, unlike a lot of spirulina and chlorella, which is manufactured in, you know, controlled environments and may not be as um, nutrient dense. It doesn't mean that it's bad for you or that you're not going to get a lot of benefits from those products. It just means that you're not going to get as much of the vitamins, minerals, proteins, everything that you would get out of something like AFA. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take this half teaspoon and we're gonna put it in. Now, if you use something bigger than this, feel free to um, add another half teaspoon. So I wish I could tell you how big this was. I picked this up at Ikea, but you know, it's um, maybe, maybe a liter in size and now what we're gonna do is put this aside now you this powder i just store mine in the fridge you don't have to but i feel like it'll just keep it fresher for longer the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the fulvic acid now this i got on amazon i'll also link this down below and these come in one milliliter droppers so you're gonna put a full milliliter of the fulvic acid straight in there okay now what you want to do is you want to mix this up okay guys just like that shake it around and then maybe shake it the other way now supposedly you don't want to use metal to stir in this so if you are going to use something to stir i would use um wood, but I find shaking it up like that um, works out just fine. Now we're gonna take the distilled water and we are going to top this up close to the top. Awesome. Just like that guys, this is what we are looking for. Now this is our, you know, polyjuice potion, our magic tonic. We're gonna put this in the fridge for two days uncovered to let it brew, let it break down, bring out all that phycocyanin and really just make it easy for our bodies to absorb the nutrients and the minerals and the antioxidants that are in it. So I already had one that was brewing, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like after two days. Check that out, guys. Can you see that color? I really hope you guys can appreciate that color on this camera. It's bluish purple and it's just, it's awesome. So you're gonna notice, you're gonna get some green froth on the top that's not dangerous or anything, totally fine, totally normal. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it now. This is a concentrate, guys, so you don't drink this straight up. You dilute this with water. So I'm gonna grab a cup, put some ice in it, put some water in it, and then I'm gonna top it off with the um, AFA blue-green algae. 
So I like to do a 50-50 uh, ratio, so 50% water and 50% of the um, AFA uh, concentrate. And yeah, let's brew up some AFA potion, okay guys? Now, look at this, because this is really, really cool. All right, when you pour it in, just check out that color, guys. That is the phycocyanin that I was talking about. That extremely powerful antioxidant. Just gonna close this up. Mix it up a little bit. Now, you guys could definitely add other things to this. You. Um, can add sole water if you have that and sole water is just water that's been saturated with um, pink salt um, That's gonna help help add way more minerals. You can add some lemon juice to it um, Essentially guys, this is nature's Gatorade. I mean look at this. This is so cool I, I get asked so many times when I drink this in public what it is um, everyone thinks honestly that it's Gatorade in a bottle, but it's not. It is 100% um, pure, natural, antioxidant, nutrient-rich, dense goodness, guys. So I'm gonna try this so I can tell you what it tastes like. So, to me, this tastes like tea. It tastes like a very light brewed tea. Now I did have one friend who saw this and tried it and spit it out and thought it tasted like seaweed, algae, whatever. I don't think so. Based on online forums and things like that, most people will agree with me that this tastes like tea, but you know, it, it may come down to personal preference. So let me know down in the comments what you guys uh, thought of this, if you made it, what you guys thought it tasted like. And if you guys added anything to it, I'd love to know, you know, how you guys customized um, your uh, AFA Blue Green Algae drink. Um, guys, if you got value from my channel, go ahead and do me a solid and hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button because I upload videos every week talking about how we can use different things to enhance our health and well-being. And go ahead and hit that notification bell so you get notified on when I release my next video. I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Holistically. All right, guys, I'm going to sit and sip on this all day. Peace out. Thank you.